What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Elite Action Figure reveals for you guys. And we did get this news from Justin underscore WWE Figs on Instagram, as well as my boy Unstable1047 Christian, my boy over there. We have some new reveals of Elite Series 83, as well as some other figures, and I'm not exactly sure what series they're from just yet, at least uh, at time of recording. Maybe we'll find some out later in the day. And we may even get new images of these figures like these may not be the best images maybe they'll even be posted by the time the video is about to be done edited that way you can plug in the new images but guys we have new views of the brand new elite series 83 so edge drew mcintyre dusty Rhodes, trash corbin sasha banks you guys know the deal so let's go ahead and dive into everything guys starting out with edge we got to start out with edge guys as you guys can see in the wrestlemania gear on your screen in the gray and dark red and black and you guys can ch you can check out what they got going. They clearly didn't fix the torso. I didn't think they would. We saw it back in the render images. You know, the render images, they did not seem like they were going to change it. And they didn't, which is kind of bummerific. I don't like that they didn't do that. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have to do that ourselves on surgery. I would have liked to seen like a Seth Rollins torso, maybe. I think that would have been really, really good. And clearly, they have the Hall of Fame mold with Jake the Snake. All you'd have to do is put kick pads on it. And I think that would have worked for Edge with, you know, his shoulders and everything thing for his more ripped up torso because we got to give this man the ripped up torso we're i think we're getting it on the ultimate edition but the ultimate edition's torsos are weird anyway but the gray attire does look good i am hyped for the figure i think it looks fantastic uh besides the torso of course but we also have the guns and roses slash greatest wrestling match ever attire and you guys can see here on your screen and i like this version as well i think they're both great i think the black version is the chase variant and then the wrestlemania version is the regular version in the gray but you guys can let me know what you think down below i love both the tires i love the green I think the green's supposed to be a little bit darker. Not the biggest deal. It's just, you know, nitpicking at the figure a little bit. But, you know, it, it still looks good. I'm excited for it. I think the, the head is pretty good. It's probably one of the better Edge head sculpts. I'm very excited to see what comes of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts when we finally get those. But if we're finally getting our Edge Elite pictures like this, then you've got to think that the Ultimate Edition can't be far behind, right? Is At least that's what I would think. Also, on the WrestleMania figure, I'm going to have to add the chrome shoes. He had, like, some silver chrome uh, wrestling shoes on or Nikes or whatever the hell underneath this kick pads i'm gonna have to definitely add those but Edge being one of my favorites, I gotta fix it up. It's also gonna come with a cloth Edge t-shirt, which is really cool, and interchangeable hands. I also think his hand was taped in uh, black hand tape, so we'll have to see about that as well. But Edge is looking good, man. Elite 83 Edge, really impressed with it overall. Next up, guys, is Drew McIntyre. This is the smiley face Drew head sculpt. To me, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like his skin tone is darker. Is it me? I could have sworn he used to be like the Edge skin tone. Now he's more of like the Seth Rollins skin tone or the Ziggler skin tone. It looks kind of like the Seth Rollins skin tone. I think it looks good. I like the attire. It's very similar to his other figures. You got the entrance jacket. Smiley head sculpt for Drew. I think it looks like Drew and everything. Looks very similar to his uh, render image that we got. You know, on the render image though, it th I thought we were going to get a Macho Man torso. This is clearly still the same torso, so I guess we're not getting a change, but interchangeable hands, entrance vest, not much else going on there. Next up, guys, is going to be Trash King Corbin. Look at Trash. Trash's figure is actually looking pretty damn solid solid, man. I mean, you got the plastic cape and the nice crown, but the head sculpt looks phenomenal. Looks just like him. You know, they may have went a little bit over the top using that Dean Ambrose slash Jeff Hardy torso. Don't think I would have used that for him, but I still think the figure actually looks pretty solid, man. Trash Corbin actually looking not so trash. Even though the figure is super plain, I don't know how well this figure is going to sell simply because of how plain it is, like just regular black tank top, black pants, uh, you know, king, crown, whatever, black scepter there. Uh, I don't know. Just, I don't know how appealing this is going to be on the shelf, but Trash Corbin's figure overall is looking pretty great. Surprising, I know, right? Next up, guys, is going to be Sasha Banks, and it looks like we are finally getting that ringside exclusive Sasha Banks, but it is not in the uh, ringside exclusive. It is actually just a regular Elite figure. We have the Elite 83 Sasha Banks, and it looks like her hands are in weird. I don't know, just by the image, it looks like she, I don't know, her right arm, her right hand's kind of reminding me of Roger from American Dad. I don't know what's up with that, but overall, you get the blue glasses, interchangeable hands. This will definitely be the best Sasha Banks probably of course with the double jointed knees and everything this is a very beautiful figure you got the blue hair uh, the jacket and everything, even though the jacket is probably going to be like Kyrie Sane's Elite 73, you know, very articulated, you'll be able to move the arms, remove the arm pieces, put the jacket on and everything like that if I had to guess, but you know, I don't use the rubber accessories, I'd probably hack the sleeves off some, and make it a vest overall, or put on some other jacket from, a, a, you know, a cloth jacket from a different figure, but the Sasha Banks still looks good, I like the head sculpt, I like the hair, I like the attire overall, just looks very, very
very good. And so we're finally, finally, finally getting that Sasha Banks Elite figure we've been waiting on forever now. Not only do we have Sasha, guys, but we also have Michael P.S. Hayes in the house. And we not only have a loose figure image, but we also have an in package image, which is really, really interesting. You guys can see what torso they're using for the guy. He's also going to come with the shirt and everything. From here, it kind of looks like the head sculpt is... It's like the likeness is there and the hair is, the, is there. I think the hair color and the glasses and everything, he's kind of got that dog, the bounty hunter look going for him like Michael P.S.A.'s kind of always reminded me of. But uh, I, I like it overall. You know, it's not the best figure ever, but it's pretty solid, especially for a flashback, you know, first time in the line and everything like that. I think we're looking good for Michael P.S. Hayes. On top of Michael P.S. Hayes, guys, we also have a look at Elite 63 Dusty Rhodes. Um, I'm pretty sure, didn't we have already images of this? I don't think we had any, uh, you know, we had render images, but I'm pretty sure we've seen this not only in render form but we also saw loose images so now we just have another loose image with the hat and the polka dot like throw over the top of the dusty always nice to add another dusty rose to the collection so that's pretty cool right there not only do we have dusty roads in the rest of elite series 83 we have triple h now i don't know all the info about these triple h's right here but we have a SummerSlam triple h throwback and we have two different versions now I'm guessing that, I don't know what wave this is going is. Is this supposed to replace Velveteen Dream in Elite 84? Is that what this is supposed to be? I'm loving that we're getting this Triple H. We got a basic of this way, way, way back in the day. So it looks like we're finally getting an Elite version of it. And not only do we have the purple SummerSlam version, but we also have the red and the gold version, which is very interesting. I'm always glad to add some Triple H's to the shelf, especially some throwbacks, some long tights versions. Really like to see that. You love to see these 90s versions of Triple H and everything like that. It looks like, I don't know if I'm tripping, but it looks like they gave him the long boot mold. I don't know what's up with that. He's supposed to have like the regular boot. I don't know why you wouldn't just use the DX Elite 23 body mold, but maybe they are. It's just the render image that looks all weird. But it is cool to see two different new versions of Triple H. We also have a comma Elite. Look at this, guys. You got... Not only do we have the Godfather now, but we also have an Elite Kama, which is insane. I cannot believe that we're getting a Kama figure. I love all the new stuff we got going on here. Look at this torso. Look at the tattoo detail and everything like that. You know we got those tattoos on the Godfather and everything, but having a Kama, man, I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty insane. Now we have all three versions of the Godfather. You got the Godfather, you got Papa Shango, you got Kama, and that is pretty damn excellent, man. So now we can add Kama to the collection. I guess what we're only missing, like, his Nation of Domination attire in the, you know, the nice flag pattern and everything like that so that'll be really cool once we get that but it is cool to see a new figure like this i don't even know where these images are from i, I guess they're from the forums but unstable 1047 and justin wwe figs is who i got these from but it is pretty cool to see. Not only do we have Kama and Triple H in Elite Series 83, guys, but we also have a new look at the basic line. Now, I can't remember what basic line this is, but you guys can see in the very middle, we have Tony Storm. We also have uh, two shirtless versions of Heavy Machinery. We have Otis and Tucker. We also have Roman Reigns with that same godforsaken head sculpt that we have seen a million, trillion, billion times. And then we also have an Undertaker, which is basically a basic version of the Elite Series 79. But I think the winner basic right here is clearly Tony Storm. Her figure looks really good. Her head sculpt, I know we can't see really good images of it in this video so far um, unless I find some images somewhere before the editing is completed, but that Tony Storm head sculpt looks excellent, and uh, we're also getting a new Slam Mobile, guys. We're getting a brand new blue version of the WWE Reckon Slam Mobile. It is going to have a rock figure included with it, and he has his updated tattoos, his head sculpt. It's the Elite 81 in basic trash form, basically. Uh, basically pun intended, but we also have a blue car version, so it's the exact same car except in blue so I, I don't know why they would do that I guess for the Smackdown on Fox thing you pair that with The Rock and you know you have the blue car and Smackdown and Fox and Rock and all the damn things going on and it's perfect in time for Christmas so maybe that's what's going on with these but I think that's all the images I have for you guys overall I mean pretty solid I think that you know it would have been cool to see a better torso for Edge and everything but I think overall that the figure does look really good. I'm really excited to get it in hand, see what that's about. He does have some inaccuracies, things of that nature, but what the hell would Dr. Whitekiss be for if he weren't to get these inaccurate figures and then make them how they should be or make them how he wants them? You know what I'm saying? So I think that works out great, but um, I like everything going on with these figures. Not one figure that I saw that I was just like, God, that's terrible as hell. I think they all look pretty damn good. I think it's a pretty damn good day of reveals and everything, but 
I think I'm going to be getting the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. For today's shout-out, guys, I am going to go to WWE Fakes. He says, yes, the return of the Christmas intro. And the joke's on you, Brad, because I didn't put the, you know, I didn't put the Christmas intro in this video. At least I don't think I'm going to put the Christmas intro in this video. I might just do it. You know what? F it. I might, I might just plug it in there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, that does it for all the reveals I got. Elite Series 83, I think it's pretty solid overall. You know, I don't think that Triple H is in there because the Edge figure is the Chase variant version. And then, um, what was the last, was it Sheamus that was the last figure in there? Let me Google this real quick. WWE Elite Series 83. Oh, no, that's it. That was it. That's all we're getting. That's all of Elite 83. Hmm. Don't cross that line! You cross the line, I've been...